hi guys dr linda kramer thank you so much for watching today i'm going to do a video about where the heck are the angels where are they why aren't they just coming down with their wings like lucifer on the tv show on netflix and spreading their wings coming down and saying it's going to be all right where the heck is that i want it i know you want it the whole world wants it right so why aren't the angels coming to us right now and i'll tell you why because they can't they understand that we have free will they understand that we have life contracts they understand that others are teaching us lessons by their actions they can't impede negotiate or try to control the decisions that we have to make every single day so they don't come but the fact is they actually do what the heck am i saying i just contradicted myself you say no i'm not angels physically will not come here so what they do instead is they put synchronicities into place where things just miraculously turn out we have to have faith we have to have that belief most of all we have to stay in that love so funny thing just before i started filming tonight i looked over here and i had a book in there and the book i'm sure most of you know it it's my bible so i've looked up at the sky and i said look if you want me to read a passage today because this is about angels give me the book and it just opened here and this is what it says i am in oh my god why couldn't have it just been john chapter three it's thessalonians thessalonians chapter five and in my book it's page 1159 but concerning the times and the seasons brethren you have no need that i should write to you for you yourselves know perfectly that the day of the lord so comes as a thief in the night for when they say peace and safety then sudden destruction comes upon them and as labor pains upon a pregnant woman and they shall not escape look at how many people in authority right now are saying peace is coming trust us we know what we're doing yes but look at what the bible is saying is coming to those people doing that because as i got learned as i got told in 2001 when i died lies and deceit is going to be rampant during the 2020s so verse 4 but you brethren are not in darkness so that this day should overtake you as a thief you are all the sons of light and sons of the day we are not in the night nor of darkness therefore let us not sleep as others do but let us watch and be sober in other words pay attention and be aware of what's going on right for those who sleep sleep at night and those who get drunk are drunk at night but let us who are of the day be sober putting on the breastplate of faith and love and as a helmet the hope of salvation for god did not appoint us to be the wrath but to obtain salvation through our lord jesus christ so here's a passage straight from thessalatians chapter 5 and what it's basically saying is don't mimic those who are creating all the chaos don't go out there and be a reflection of what they are creating go out there and be the light of god or your angel or your spirit guide your guardian angel even your deceased loved one you shine that light into everything around you because it emits out of your very core of love how can we lose this war 
when we are on such high vibrational planes like our angels so they don't even have to come down because we are already a representation of who they are I've got a video on my channel it's called what would the angels do and I've got other videos where I talk about angels where I say we don't need to physically see our angels we don't need to grow the wings we don't need to have any confirmation that they're here because the very fact that we are here and we believe without seeing them is sufficient to them and believe me I have seen angels on a few times now with wings I've seen their wings six people in my old house one night we all saw the angel wings and feathers lying on the floor you can't make this stuff up but we must hope we must believe and most of all we must trust that God angels ascended masters deities whatever you want to call them they're not out there they are within us we are the energy that fuels them and if we put our energy into what we're seeing on the TV with the wars and the chaos that's existing at this moment we become that chaos and war we are fueling that to be greater than it is so we must put on that breastplate of being the white light savior of this planet and it doesn't mean we have to be like Joan of Arc and get our sword and go into battle it means that we kill this war through kindness we act like the angels what would an angel do in all this chaos ask yourself that question as you go to bed would they be even involved in it no because they know that as soon as they put their energy into that thought they are manifesting that creation of all that chaos and war for the others to win so we must create the love and the light of the angels so we win this war through love angels don't have to appear to us as long as we trust them as long as we speak to them ask for their guidance so right now I'm going to do a little prayer like I do every night before I go to bed I don't specifically look at something I just throw my thoughts out there like I'm talking to someone in the next room and I just say hey are you on is this thing on is this thing on is there angels around me please hear my thoughts and then I always give thanks because angels are miraculously gorgeous loving glorified and graceful beings divinity and eternity rolled into one so we don't need to see that we probably wouldn't be able to handle it if we saw it like an alien approaching us out of nowhere our body would just go straight into meltdown because we're so conditioned to this three-dimensional world so we have to disconnect from that three-dimensional world and start talking to them for they hear us even when we don't hear them back to say I need your guidance you know me you know what I'm going through you know my life contract did I sign up for this the answer is generally yes because if we were off our path our spirit guides would come in and push us back onto a path so we are here to learn how do we learn not to hate unless we see people doing it how do we learn not to create wars unless we see people doing it how do we learn not to be angry to be judge filled grudge filled to be assuming and accusing and judgmental unless we see other people doing it so the more we notice and the more we are aware and sober as the Bible said 
And the more that we are consciously looking for those messages from our angels and we say, oh, my God, look at the actions of that person. I do not want to be that. I do not want to reflect that. I want to create the love. So then they feel what I am instead. So where are our angels? They're always with us. They never leave us. They are listening to every intention our thoughts create. And they never leave us alone. Trust, believe, and most of all, love. Because that is the only way through what we're battling at this point. I hope that that's given you some peace. I hope that this message has given you some hope. And most of all, I hope and pray that this message today reaches you when you are willing to want to give up the belief systems of all this chaos and start changing who you are to be a better person in the eyes of the infinitive universal energies. And that includes our angels, by the way. So have a good night. I love you all. Stay in peace and create that peace within yourself and others. Be the role model that you want other people to be. Love is all. Talk to you all soon. Bye.